Welcome back. We're here at the vineyard again, not in work clothes. We're just running some errands today. But since we were dropping off some stuff at the vineyard, we were like, oh my God, Verasion is happening right now. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of show off what is happening with Verasion, um, what's happening with all the grape plants, all the color changes, and we should be ready to harvest in like a couple of months. So fingers crossed, super excited. Although because um, Bud Burst was like a month late this year, Harvest will probably be another month later. So, who knows? And October 1st will be the first day. Yeah. So, oh, hold on. Look at that. Oh. Dang. That's going to be terrible to pull off. Oh, my God. Season. And pruning. Let's go look at it. <laughs> so, we're out here in the... Um, shoot, I just almost called these the Franc. The Sauvignon Blanc. The Franc. <laughs> and so, the grapevines have now intertwined with the tree that is right next to it. Okay. And let's take a look at this. So, the last time... We really looked at the grapes. Well, here's the mildew. That's the mildew. And what happens is it has little teeny tiny spores and mildew is always on the plants. It has little spores. And if it gets water inside of it, it, it just shoots out with like millions of little spores. The videos are amazing to watch of funguses. And so if you're ever bored, just Google it. It's so well, fun. Well, you see, this is what it does. It breaks it open and oh, then I animals guess. come and eat it or it just rots. <laughs> <laughs> you do so loud. Okay, but on a happier note, they're getting firmer. They're tightening up. You can't really bend them at all. Yeah, is it firmer? It Trina? is firmer. Mm -hmm. Let's taste one. Okay. Is it good? It's, no, no, give me my new, a new one. I don't want to eat yours off of your lips. It's sour, but it's not bad. Oh. And another way to tell... You know how it is sour, mm -hmm. but it's getting better. What are you doing? The seeds are green right now. Mm. One of the like old wives' tales of when of when grapes are ready, they'll turn brown, and that means that their little backpacks are ready to go. Aww. They're ready. They're ready to see the world. That's so cute. Yeah. All right. So the green ones, you can't really see the change. They just sort of turn from like a darker and smaller green and then they get plumper with more water. And because there's so much water this year and these roots go so deep down. Because they're old cause babies. They're, these are like 40, 40. years old, 38 mm -hmm. years old. Um, they're just really busting and moving. Okay, <laughs> let's go over to the um, The reds. Rock. Oh, we're going to go to the... Oh, okay. Let's... Turkey. Jess, you got a turkey? Well, look at the Oh, we've got, we've got some feathers. Nice. Here's even more. Okay, so honestly, it's kind of sad, but the reason that we have Dusty... Look at this. This is our newest plant in here. Mm-hmm. It's doing great. Oh, look how tight that is. Okay, so back to Dusty. The reason Hold why on. We What's a good example Sabrina. of what this feels like? <laughs> what does it feel like? Um, It's just tight. Yeah, so like you can't really get your fingers... Well, I guess I could get my... You can't really get your fingers in there anymore. Uh, Yeah, you can't bend it too much. Ooh, how about this? A sock filled with BBs, and then you really tighten it. That's okay. what it feels like. Um, or people just can just feel grapes at the grocery store. It feels like grapes no, at the grocery doesn't. store. Yes, it Those does. are so loose. Because they girdle. Okay. They do girdle. Um, Let's go. Okay, hang on. So back to the reason why we have Dusty is because we've got a lot of things that like to eat the grapes. And what Dusty does is scares them away and it, on occasion attacks them. One year. Oh, look at this. So this plant, when it was just in its prime time 30 years ago, um... Ooh, look at it. It would, the whole entire plant would fill up like three buckets. So this is Verasian. And because we had crazy hailstorms, we have shot berry. See the little teeny tiny guys? Mmm. They're just, they're just, um, unfertilized grapes. So they won't do anything. They won't be able to reproduce. They just take up space. And they create tannins and acids in wine. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Um, acids and tannins hold up a wine to help it age better. So it's a good thing. It is a good thing. But good some people know. don't like it because it takes like three years for it to become like drinkable. Oh, dang. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so basically, oh. Verasion, you can really see Verasion on the reds Taste because one. they turn red. And look at the juice inside. Oh, God. It's the not juice even will any turn color. like pink. <laughs> It's so sour. Oh my god. See, look at the little <gasps> seeds in there. It's like a little polywog. I literally just licked the top of it with the juice coming out, and I'm already like, blah, blah, blah. Blah. Mm. It's good, though. It's good, thing. 
Dang. Super pretty. But look at the cute little veins in there. Yeah, I can't really see. So, and also, the buds are starting to bulge. <laughs> the buds are bulging. The buds are bulging. This is for next year. And because this is so high up, these apical meristems, you're not even going to use them. So we're just going to break it off and just cut it open. See if we can see anything. See, there's like a little um, protective fur on it. Do you remember what that was called? It was something pube something. Pube? Pubescent, yeah. I don't oh, remember. Oh, see? I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's, so this is the primary bud and then there's a secondary bud and a tertiary bud that's not there. So the prime, the Let's primary one is this. the main one. And then the secondary yeah. is that little teeny yeah, tiny maybe. guy. It's super cute and adorable. If you're going to look up cute little plants, <laughs> look up apical meristem, microscopic. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. You look up. Apical meristem so, um, under a microscope. Apical meristems are under a microscope are really cute. They're like little babies. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Serena. No, but look at this. See, these are going to be used for next year, so we have to be careful during harvest time not to break them off because we're going to save that one and this one down here. Because you leave the bottom two buds. And those are for next year. And in one of those buds, it has enough for five leaves and the grapes. Yep. And that those little buds hold the whole vineyard they do. in the palm of their hands. And they're just like those little, um, those little pill sponges. Yes. Oh, hands. Um, you just add Have water. you tried lotion? No. Sorry, that lotion. was a jerk move. So look at my hands. Actually, they're doing better. I had a cut right there from spanking Josie the other day. Yeah. Cause you I hit her hit and it me. broke my hand open. Ouch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just trying to expose them. Oh. You mean you haven't tried lotion I've before? I've never tried lotion before. Oh my god. I get that so much. Okay, fun story. Um. Alright. Okay, so that is all for this video. Just showing the verasion that's happening. Yeah. This um, is a very important part of growing grapes. Yeah, this is what gives it the sweet flavor. And this is also when animals like to come in and start mm -hmm. eating them, but they're not sweet enough, so they're... They don't really like they them too much. Animals. But that's also, again, why we have Dusty. <laughs> Dusty scares away the yes. deer, raccoons, skunk, turkeys. I almost said chickens. We don't have chickens here. Um, what else? Birds. Other just regular birds. Um, um, rabbits. Oh, rabbits. They, don't they eat, stink. Well, if they can stand up on their feet and grab them, they will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so just the little predators here. They eat the roots and stuff. The predators of the plants. Predator, predator. <laughs> All right. I know for now.